The transfer deadline dead drama is just beginning to unfold for Manchester United. Listen, players in, players out, top priorities are beginning to fall apart. Manchester United is planning now to rush to plan B. I've got an update concerning Mark Kukurela because what had been agreed between the two clubs seems to be changing because Chelsea, as always, are complicating the situation. What are they saying? Manchester United uh, do not want to sign Kukurela beyond January. It's just an interim signing because Luke Shaw will surely be back after that but uh, Chelsea are saying if you want him take him for the entire season but also pay some cash and meet his wages United are saying you know what we might not afford that so what's the plan United rushes to plan B and where is that it is still in London in uh, Tottenham Hotspurs the North Londoners and that's where they've gone for Sergio Regulion and according to David Onstein United are advanced in their pursuit of uh, Regulion on loan now now remember, obviously, between Mark Kukurea and Julian, obviously uh, Kukurea is a bit ahead of Regulion, but when the going gets tough, even the tough get going and figure out what exactly to do. The going is tough for Manchester United, yet we need a left back po uh, you know, player in as fast as we can if we are going to go and face Arsenal with some bit of confidence on Sunday evening. Guys, that's where we are. Hot spot. Uh, subscribe. Now, besides uh, Regulion, who is now the top target, Guys, there is an update concerning Scott McTominay because after a big, big period of silence with no club seeming to even hint about signing him, uh, Fulham, the, uh, a London club, has come out calling saying, is he available? Can we have him? They do want him probably on loan, but United would be wishing to sell. He's valued at about 40 to 45 million pounds. Fulham have sold players and made some bit of cash. What exactly is going to happen? How is Manchester United, who are not so good at their negotiation, how are they going to going to corner Fulham if they are going to get a dime out of them for Scott McTominay now. Uh, United has got to be bidding for Sofian Amrabat. We've been prepared. United has tabled an initial bid after long talks with uh, Fiorentina. Two million pounds, a bit ridiculous. Uh, but uh, Fiorentina saying we want, okay, if you do want to uh, get him on loan you should commit that you will buy him later after uh, his season long loan united are saying we are not committing to that so that's again a deadlock seeming to be uh you know hitting manchester united again in their pursuit of sofian amrabat the situation at united is confusing like it always is when it comes to transfers in the summer and the deadline three players down more needed crucial ones but is it going to happen guys on the same day the transfer deadline day guys we did have some good news with manchester united returning to the uefa champions league for the first time in years united returns in a terrible not a terrible uh, but in an exciting group if i should say the goals of football have decided that uh they reject uh, rather the player who rejected manchester united ran out of patience to, to choose uh, to join by and kim mije will re will face uh his uh would have should have been uh, you know employers we was one of the players i think many united supporters felt we needed come in as a replacement for harry maguire but after waiting for so long he predicted perhaps what we saw later that maybe maguire would not be heading out and he said you know what i'm not waiting for you united he goes to bayern and guess what the champions league united back and the draw uh you know put up uh, uh, pits manchester united in the same group with kim minjes bayern munich same club that has got harry kane going to be interesting isn't it well and the same uh, Champions League draws have got us, uh, you know, again drawn in a dream game in Copenhagen uh, where our own Rasmus Hoilun will be facing his two believed to be brothers who play for FC Copenhagen, his childhood club. So interesting stuff there. Imagine the atmosphere in Copenhagen for that away game in Denmark. Interesting stuff. What a time again. Now still, why that group is going to be a group of focus? Fred, who has been a player at Manchester United uh, for a long time time uh crossed over to galatasaray now he will be meeting his former employers in the champions league as well that's a tough game because in football one of the toughest atmospheres to play in is uh in galatasaray that's uh in turkey that's again another interesting football match uh, to what to look out for we'll be getting uh, into those we'll be talking about the draws in depth but trust you me each game in those in those uh, uh, in that group uh, for Manchester United has got a story to it. it has got a, a, a recent history to it it relates a lot with Manchester United and that's why 
that is for me the group of death but we have we've got all the time to talk about it let's take a bit to the transfers and the deadline day and where manchester united is guys the money situation the financial fair play policy is playing us dirty and indeed we've got to adjust how we do manage this situation because trust you me we will struggle but because of financial fair play these days transfers are becoming a game of chess which that has reached an end game it's becoming so tight manchester united has not go, has got no fans yet we need uh, players uh, to come in. There are hours just left to the close of the summer transfer window. And Manchester United can't be contented now with what they have. Three players signed already. One is injured for some bit of time. The two are there. Uh, but uh, only, uh, the, uh, only one of them uh, is able to play. So it's very uh, tight where United is. But the most important elephant in the United room is the Sofian Amrabat situation. But Fiorentina seem to be complicating it. Like you see him there, Amrabat should be praying that it goes through because he already agreed personal terms as a player with Manchester United and requested to be left out of the Fiorentina squad as he mentally focuses on Manchester United. If it doesn't happen, trust you me, it will be a difficult place for him to be. Manchester United has got to commit that they will buy Sofian Amrabat, but without funds, they can't be so sure. Interesting stuff, isn't it? Uh, Sergio Reguilon, like I told you, uh, is the player, according to David Austin, that Manchester United have now focused on after hitting a deadlock uh, with Marco Correa because apparently uh, the Correa deal would be too expensive for United, yet they don't have money now. He's earning £175,000 per week. Manchester United might not be able to meet that. But the bigger problem is that whereas Man United only want him in the interim up until January, uh, Chelsea are saying if you want him, take him for the entire season and meet all his wages, but also pay us about five million pounds uh, for his services wow kings of ripping off kukurela tough situation united is in it's an emergency situation uh, but uh, becoming a, a bit difficult for united to deal with that's where we are uh, in terms of manchester united and how this uh, transfer deadline day is unfolding or is uh, going for us guys interesting stuff of course when you go on uh, the different social media platforms on twitter especially of course sofian amrabat is training as always manchester united will always be training at number one and uh, of course we've got updates concerning uh, uh, Rejulion uh, joining uh, from Spurs and this is the uh, David Austin uh, you know, tweet from a couple of hours ago. Man United are working to complete a loan signing of Sergio Rejulion from Tottenham. Uh, the 26-year-old left back granted permission by Tottenham or Spurs to travel for a medical. That's where we are. Now, it is uh, becoming, I, I think, uh, almost clear now that Manchester United might not have a lot of time to waste on bid on going back and forth with Chelsea, who are good at taking their time uh, when it comes to Marco Correa. United do want a solution immediately because, in fact, it is reported that the idea for Eric Ten Hag is for that left back, probably now Regulion, to come in and be ready to play that game against Arsenal on Sunday afternoon. This is going to be interesting uh, to see how that goes about. So hotspot guys, do subscribe because the Manchester United news is coming in obviously uh, you know, thick and fast. Uh, but most importantly, it has been uh, a busy day. How is it going to end? We are always known to be busy signing players uh, late. But the one player that Manchester United will be hoping to sign uh, at least uh, late should be Sofian Amrabat. But as, uh, uh, as it is now, uh, it's being reported now by Fabrizio Romano that Sergio Reguilon's medical is taking place at the moment ahead of a loan move uh, to Manchester United. Sergio Reguilon's medical is taking place as we do speak right now. A loan move uh, is in the air uh, for Sergio Reguilon. He is not a, a, a key player uh, for Tottenham Mospers, but obviously at this point he's one that will come in handy for Manchester Manchester United. That's where we are. Hot spot. Deadline day business. I will be back in a few hours after the deadline day to sum up what has happened, who is in, who did not come in. But guys, trust you me, watch this space. Most probably by the time we, before the close of the window, Sergio Reguilon will be a Manchester United player. United has failed. Finally, they have you know, hit, made a U-turn after agreed, agreeing personal terms with Kukurea. Uh, they failed with Chelsea in terms of what Chelsea wants and what United can offer. No time to waste. Go for Reguilon, who will be there on loan until January, according to your terms. So expect uh, Reguilon probably. Uh, but 
something on on Sofian Amra, but we hope it's good. I expect Scott McTominay as well uh, to join Fulham on the deadline day. Hot spot, subscribe. My name is Webb. I will be back in your faces in just a heartbeat. Don't you move a muscle.